Ready? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. Me too. Nah. <laughs> My face. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. I'm so this sweaty. It's so a thousand degrees in here. <laughs> this is what I picture sometimes if I'm laughing. Picture me getting incredibly angry that you won't finish this video. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what video even? <laughs> <laughs> This video is sponsored by Fume. Do you need to curb your cravings for cigarettes and look classy? <laughs> yes. Yes. Fume. Today, we're gonna play a new game called Underrated Overrated. Love games, uh, baby. From Gary V. Half of this is all about watches, from about Nautilus, and talking about Rolexes, and a bunch of different OPs, a yep. whole bunch of watch stuff, but also yeah. some non-watch stuff. Yeah. So, um... Also, so if you like the more casual banter, check out our podcast, where it's watch stuff sometimes, sometimes not. They're a little longer. We just chit-chat. Perfect for commutes. Yep. I'll read them and then we'll wait and then and share our underrated three, overrated, overrated, overrated. overrated. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ready? Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> One, two. Michael does three. not eat meat. Overrated. Um, under oh underrated. I think it's that good. Really? Yeah. It's wow. really really good. I uh, miss KFC the spicy. chicken. Wow. You used to eat KFC? Oh, I used to love KFC. I'd go no my dad get KFC chicken, go fishing. Really? Now I don't eat meat. What a great childhood! It was awesome. Oh, my God. oh I loved it. So to me, Popeye chicken sandwich underrated. It's, it's and it's and it's a lot of hype, but I think it's that good. All right. Yeah. This All next right. one, it's gonna get personal. Next, enamel dials on watches. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's not gonna get personal. Okay, one, two, three. Grossly underrated. Yes, agreed. Fully. Grossly underrated. I have been on the hunt for a modern day, not crazy expensive enamel dialed watch. There's not that many. Atelier Wen makes yep, them. That's what I was looking at. Yep. Um, I don't know much about the company or the Grossly watches underrated. themselves. Stunning. Enamel has a depth to it, a creaminess to it that uh, that other just materials just don't. It, a cloudiness. Oh, it's and it puts mystery. any any printed dial anything to. Sh what are you smelling? I'm just smelling the beauty of the <laughs> air of the enamel dials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. It puts anything else to shame in terms of pure smoothness. It's like glass on your dial. Yes. I guess essentially that's what it is. Yes, yes. All right, next one. Hamilton, the musical. Oh. One, two, three. Underrated. underrated. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. And that is very One of the underrated. most famous things of all time. Yeah, underrated. Underrated. Oh, I love, I love Hamilton. How can I say no to this? I am. I love, for those of you guys, Hamilton's about Alexander Hamilton, it's very, very good. Oh, my um, God. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's great. My buddy Sam, is, is, is bless his heart, uh, all the Southern fans will get that. He goes, uh, he goes, dude, I, I watched Hamilton, it was amazing, and I learned so much. Like, the Federalist Papers, crazy, John Jay, there's that school in the city. And I had no idea Hamilton was black. Literally no clue. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and not to mention Hamilton, but George Washington, Thomas Jefferson... Everybody. Literally. And they want to call America racist? I'm like, Sam, it was a... Seems like it was a dumb thing. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm like, Sam, you just missed the entire purpose. It's like the dollar bill even. It's disgusting. I can't even look at it. Uh, okay, next. Yes. Audemars Piguet's Code 1159. Underrated or overrated? Interesting. Are we going to work with them soon? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? On three. Yeah. Underrated. You didn't say anything. I you did. I thought you were one, two, three. Oh, I was. I thought it was getting redundant. Oh yeah, it kind of was. Okay. Underrated. Underrated. I'll go, but I'll explain because it's it kind of seems like a cheap way I answered it. I think the dials especially are underrated. See, I don't think it's the dials. I think it's the cases. Wow. I think that wow. AP was so brilliant in that they, they, they obviously the Royal Oak is the bedrock of their entire watch collection. Of course. They made a dress watch, right? Which yep. they're trying to expand their expand their reach, expand their collection, make sure they're not a one trick pony. Yep. But they did it with that same what do people love AP for? I'm the Royal Oak, but what is it really? It's industrial finishing. Yep. It's hard line, innovative, okay, I see industrial saying. design and finishing. So to me, the fact that they made a dress watch with that same design language, unbelievable. I am I am blown away by it every time. And just for your reference, I thought I was making a mistake for a second. They have one that is like the starry night sky. The perpetual calendar. The perpetual calendar. That and then awesome. their skeletons. 
But the the Starry Night Sky gets me every time. Yep, that's, underrated. That's underrated, 100%. Look yeah. at that thing. That's an unbelievable wristwatch. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. And with the strap, too. It's literally oh, genius. Oh, yeah. Oh, with the strap not being like a classic I, alligator? I think that it watches pure genius. And I, and I don't think they got the credit they deserve. Grossly underrated. Especially for the low price of $95,000. For the very low price, $99,000. All right, next one. Um, Ritz Carlton. Do you have, have you stayed at Ritz Carlton before? Yeah. You have not. No, oh. no never. Okay, so uh, so overrated, and I'll tell you why. In in major cities, Ritz Carltons are great because they're you know you, you come to expect like a good level of service. It's like the only place you feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> you, I stayed at a lot of Carltons, yeah, and and because uh, um, there's there's something to be said about okay, I know that it's going to be a good experience, mm-hmm. but what I hate about Ritz Carlton, the reason why to me it's grossly grossly overrated. Is it's because it's actually getting dangerous. That you just can't leave. Like it, it to me, it's almost eerie. Really? It reminds me of like um, it reminds me of like a a, a horror movie um, where you see the same people because they own the all shining. the restaurants. They own it. It's fucking weird as shit. Really? I would never stay at a Ritz Carlton Resort again. Is there thought behind that? Well, it's a, we can control everything to make it perfectly luxurious, or is it, we're going to get your money? Yep. It's, wow. it's like, like, you know, to the point where if you're staying in the city, whether it's, you know, Santa Barbara, Amelia Island, wherever it is, you are not staying there. You are 40 minutes You're staying at the Ritz Carlton. Yep. You are, you are not in the place that they say you are. Like, you're just weird. not. Weird. It's weird as shit. Weird. Real quick, this video is sponsored by Fume. You need to quit smoking, my friend. Well, first of all, I don't, I don't smoke. I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not a pack smoker or a chain smoker. I do like to smoke when I'm having a drink, uh, but I also understand completely that it's an unhealthy habit. Uh, and I, I was, you know, kind of wise enough or whatever to, to know that it's that it is a bad habit, and I ought to stop doing that. So, in exploring, you know, different options and, in, in, you know, in stopping, willpower alone among them, which maybe sometimes is a little bit tough. Of course, uh, I found that Fume was a fantastic tool to bring me closer to my, you know, just not only not smoking, but not not minding not smoking. Yeah, so fume is an all-natural way to curb your cravings for cigarettes. Exactly. Essentially, you have this beautifully crafted wooden pipe. You put essentially a blend of herbs into the end, exactly. and when you breathe it in, it feels very refreshing. Or... Yeah, I think it also just scratches the itch of just the just the act of smoking. Sure. You know, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's a pleasant way to, to scratch that itch, uh, and it's a very healthy way to do it as well. So again, it's not just a matter of, hey, I want to kick a little bit of a bad habit. It's a very bad habit. None of yeah. us should be smoking. We yeah. all know it. Um, let's not be brazen about it. it we, we should all be on the same page and recognizing that, that it's it's bad behavior yes. and for good reason. So I highly recommend that you explore fume as an option to kick that bad habit. Give it a shot. I'm speaking from personal experience. It is a fantastic, fantastic tool. So go ahead and uh, give it a shot. Yeah, head to breathefume.com slash Theo Harris to save 10% at checkout. Terrific, go ahead. Birth year watches, underrated or overrated? One, two. Overrated. overrated. Grossly <laughs> no overrated. No explanation needed. Right? Oh, yeah. I think it's cool. It's charming to have a watch from your year. I think that's great. I don't I, care about myself as that much. Well, don't. You know, what are you coming for, everybody? Yeah, that's that's to... No, I think it's charming and it's cool. I get it. Yeah. But I, I hate when people sacrifice quality or make their lives so much more difficult when a quality watch comes up, even from the same era, the same reference, the same everything. It's like, well, it's a year off. They're like, oh, so close. I it can't would have been my birthday. It would have been per- I'm like, you're right. I don't know what happened. They're like, it was so close. I'm like, well, I'm not looking anymore, so that's it. So I'm They're like, I'm out. Dude, think about it. It would have been the year I was born. I'm, I'm out. Sorry. Yeah. As a dealer, I'm like, I, you know, I, I love you. I'm not looking. I'm not yeah. looking anymore. Dealer loves you, baby. Okay. Next one. Yes. Um, one that you Okay. Do any anyway, even if I don't know it. Mercedes Benz G Wagon. Underrated or this overrated? This is where I said it's personal. <laughs> underrated or overrated? One, two, two three. three. Overrated. 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 Grossly overrated. I love that car. Yeah. I hate it even saying overrated. I love that car. I yeah. will probably never sell that car. Yep. It's like super cool. It's very cool. It gets I- you any amount of tension you want, yes. everywhere you go. I love the history of it. I love it's how industrial it is and its design. I think that's great. Um, but I think, uh, I don't know, it, it, between everyone, everyone always says, like, you can't complain about the fuel economy for buying a $100,000 car. And I say, watch me. Well, look at how little gas mileage it's, it gets. Yeah, it's like, it's insane. It's just very and it's not just that, too. It's, it's just dealing with expensive cars like that is, in general is pain in the ass. Yeah. I would have probably, like... 
But then again, on the flip side, if I got a really tricked out X5, I probably would have said, ah, I wish I had the G Wagon. It's too, it's too computer. It's too this or too that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's underrated. I don't know. I drove it. <laughs> Hate well, it. the first time I drove it, I was like, this is amazing. Like, filming it and everything, like, yeah. hitting the gas. Yeah. Second time I drove it, I was like, get me. Get me I told you, I was relieved to get in my camera. I was like, oh, thank God. Uh, okay, well, I love the f***ing <laughs> Um Okay, um, all right, we'll do, we'll do one more. Underrated or overrated? Higher education. Oh, this is an interesting one. I don't know how to answer it. Okay, I'm specifically saying college, like like oh, yeah, universities. Yeah, yeah of course. Because higher education could also be like trade oh, like, schools. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So universities. Yeah, I'm ready when you are. We're going to say the same thing. One, two, three. Overrated. Grossly overrated. Overrated. Oh, my Unbelievable. God. Unbelievable. Do you know how long it took me to realize that you could start a business? Oh how weird God. is that? They, they, they sold America a bag of tricks um, completely. Oh, 100%. They experience. It's For nuts. some people, great. Yeah, but, well, of course. But, you know saying? There are people that need a great, great college. There's but, no doubt about that. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I, went, I went for computer science. Sorry to interrupt you. I went for mm -hmm. computer science and film. Computer science? Sure. Film? Yeah. No, way. no way. The best thing I got was feedback. Yeah. But even in that, I worked as hard as I could. I would make a 20-minute film when people would make minute film, not try it all. Computer science, law, uh, obviously accounting, things like, you know, things like uh, yeah. uh, you know, medicine, these things. Of course, you need to go to college, and it's good to go to a good college. But but the, the majority of people, the vast majority of folks, especially that I knew, but all over the country, yeah. that accumulate all of this debt off of this off of this social pressure that it is a currency to have or gone to a good school you need to it, get the, right? to get you need the experience. It oh, like, go on three God. benders a year for four years like for a weekend you, you know what is the experience you know the weirdest like, thing the I, I obviously had a degree in film I didn't I got better at film at school because I made films yeah but my career path if I went to school or not actually would not have changed because yeah. I would have edited for Theo and Harris yeah, right. regardless. Right, yeah, well, you happen to be a unique Isn't that scenario. so weird, yeah. though? But you could go to your your, your local, your, your state school, your Jersey kids going to Rutgers, Jersey kids going to TCNJ, going to NJIT, all these schools. Yeah. Uh, and the same thing goes for other places. The fact that you can go to school for $15,000 and likely commute, yeah. right? Again, barring people that come from broken homes and are looking to leave, which happens. I know that happens. Of course. But barring that, you can spend $15,000 and where, where, your, where your friends are getting an equal value, equal, equal, I'm sorry, equal return sure. on a $75,000 investment a year. The to name... pretend as if they're independent adults that are doing something good. Absolute bull. I mean, Taylor, I won't name any names, but she's always been like, oh, my friend is so smart. She went to this school, this school, this school. And I was like, aren't her parents like close to billionaires or something? Like... And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, so why do you think she got into all exactly. those schools? Exactly. But I will finalize this by saying, What's interesting, my dad owns his own business, yep. but I never thought about that as being a thing yeah. because I was so set on the college path that I was mm -hmm. like, well, you go to college to get a job. Then I had a successful photography business before watches, then a successful watch flipping yeah. business, full on TNH style. Know. And I stopped both of them because I was like, well, you have to go to college. That's how little it like connected. Yeah. It's total, it's just brainwashing. Yeah. It's brainwashing. Literally. Last thing, uh, the Holy Trinity, underrated or overrated? Not, not, not the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I actually mean the yeah, watches. Course, yeah, course. yeah. There's two. <laughs> You're an idiot. What does AP think about that? <laughs> Ready? Holy Trinity. One, oh, two, three, overrated. Rated. Yeah. yeah, for sure. They don't work that hard for your money. Um, other brands work way, way harder. Independent brands work way, way harder. It, it doesn't make sense when you have a brand like Longa. Yeah. And they're not in the whole. Or even Trinity. JLC. JLC. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, like, JLC works way harder for your money, and they produce remarkable watch. Yes, the heights of Paddock are higher than the heights of JLC. Well, even that's not your... Even, like, because even JLC, some of their, like, master complications are just, they, they're on par with anything Paddock. I mean, the, the reversal they made yeah. uh, last year? Yeah. But okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. Generally speaking, the heights of Paddock are higher than the heights of other companies, like, like you know, like, what's it called? Like, yeah. JLC. Sure. But, but by and large, I think that the idea to just, like, stay within those three companies is nuts. There's so much value and incredible craftsmanship and history yeah. outside of those companies. It's I would nuts. even, obviously, VC makes Beastly watches, yeah. but I look at JLC. JLC and um, Longa, for example. Yep. And VC, to me, Vacheron Constantine. Teen. Yep. Ten. Ten. Vacheron Constantin. Vacheron Constantin. To me, it's like those three. I'm yep. like, okay, well, which one of you should be in the Holy Trinity today? 
Right. You know, right. Yeah, even right. AP to a degree. Right. You know, I, I agree. Like you, you, you are not yesterday's achievements, nor are you yesterday's mistakes. Yeah. Right. Like, what are you doing now? Right. What, what is tomorrow? Look and like what are you now? doing now? It's like, well, you're producing this much, which is cool. And but I get it that you want to ride the, 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 the achievement thing. Like, like even in sports, right? Yeah. All year you get to be the world champion. Sure. Or for, in soccer, four years. I'm going to say you have to fight for it again. Well, because like, it, you don't just get that forever. It gets to know? a point of awkwardness where you're like, okay, are we going to ignore, like, uh, not that Grand Sega was there yet, but right. their uh, the Kodo. Oh, yeah. Are right. we going to ignore that? The, they the, can't get entered into Kodo is more magnificent than basically anything the Holy, that came out of the Holy Trinity this year. Yeah. Right. So it's Truly. like, okay, but there's there's no door anymore. It's a closed door. Right. That's Silly. weird. Yeah. Silly. It's weird. I, yeah, and I want to be in the room where it happens. Yes. Hamilton? Hamilton. Underrated. Underrated, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that this was fun. Talk about yes. some watch stuff, some non-watch stuff. I have a bunch a lot more. Of fun. We're going to do a lot more of these. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. Check out the Theo and Harris Watch Shop and uh, our podcast. It's our podcast, of course. Goodbye. Take care.